Good morning, Cancer. Welcome to Angels of the Earth. This is a general reading. We're going to look at your past, present and future in any situation you need help with, problems that need advice and guidance, and actions you can take for improvement to bring you comfort. Positive moves forward in your life that will bring new moments of joy, peace and calm as you work on improving your situation. And we'll see if there are any messages about any special person in your life. We'll have a look at all these things and more. Don't be concerned if your situation is a difficult one at present. We can always go beyond this general reading and do a personal reading specifically for you and your situation. If you'd like us to do this together, you can contact me on the email provided in the description box below with any questions you may like answers to. Remember though that not all readings will be yours, so take what resonates for you and your situation from our general readings and leave the rest behind so that we can all benefit in some way. I hope I can bring peace to your soul and a positive move forward to your future. So let's get right into it. We'll do a final shuffle and cut the cards. First of all, we're going to look at your past, your recent past. We have the Four of Swords, the Magician, and the King of Swords. For the present, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Ten of Cups. And for the near future, we have the Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Hermit. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. So for your recent past, we have the Four of Swords, the Magician, and the King of Swords. There's something here that you've been manifesting that's caused you distress. If you look at the Four of Swords, you've had to take time out. It's possibly given you a few sleepless nights. It's nothing terribly serious, but something which has caused you to just want to reflect and take time to think about your situation. You've been manifesting something in your life with the magician here. You have the ability to do this, and it has led to the King of Swords here, which is a big decision which you made as a result of this thought that you've put into your situation. There's something here which has been troubling you and you've been trying to bring forward in your life. It's caused you to make a big decision. You're definitely in your thoughts about this with all the swords here. You're definitely doing a lot of thinking about the situation you're in. In the present, we've got the Four of Pentacles, which means that you have been sitting thinking about the situation. You haven't been rushing into it. But you do realise, with the full card here, that your situation is going to need you to make a big, take a big leap of faith forward and possibly present challenges in your life. This is a little scary to you. You're a little worried about taking this leap of faith. But you know... That if you do, the likelihood that this Ten of Cups will come into being. You want this very badly. You want something very, very badly here. In the home, in, in the form of love, possibly your love life. There's something here you want very badly. But you know it's going to take you a huge step forward and take you into the unknown. Let's have a look in your near future and see how you're going to feel about this. We have the Hierophant, we have Nine of Pentacles and we have the Hermit. The Hierophant suggests a long-term relationship in the context of these cards here. Nine of Pentacles suggests that you're thinking about your independence. You're not sure to give up your independence. 
and unite with your partner. And so for the meantime, in the future, you're going to spend a lot of time thinking about it. You're not going to be quick and just jump into this energy here of the fool. The hermit suggests you're going to go within yourself. You have the light here. You have the wisdom. And you see here that the skies are clearing. Things are going to get clearer with time. Don't rush this. Don't rush this process. There is this person here who is wanting a long-term relationship with you. You're a little concerned. You're not sure about giving up your independence. Take time out to think about this. At the bottom of the deck we have King of Wands, which shows the energy surrounding the Hierophant. He's a man of passion. He's a man who stands up and knows what he wants. Or woman, there's no gender here. Your person is, a, is someone who could be pushy. Could be pushing you, making you feel that you need to give them an answer now that you need to move forward. This is what they want. They have great passion. They have ambition. They, they are a strong-minded person. But the hermit here is telling you to wait. Don't rush into this relationship as far as giving your independence up. Give it some thought first. We're going to take a couple of cards from the Magical Times deck. And give you some advice. Just two cards. Spirit, please give us two cards for advice for Cancer as they go forward in this relationship and make decisions about their future. Please give us two cards, Spirit. Thank you. The first one we have is Elegance. It's found in the beauty of nature, the lotus waiting to bloom. Be the swan on the water and glide. Let's have one more. Confidence. Be bold. Rise up and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. There's two beautiful messages from Spirit. You need these, Cancer, at the moment, because this is where you've been, in Four of Swords. Spirit's telling you to glide through this process with this relationship that you're in now. Glide through. Don't let it put you in this situation here where it causes you anxiety. Don't let it stop you. Glide forward. Keep moving forward. And have confidence. Be bold. Stand tall. Have courage as you move forward. And you will be successful. So these are the two messages of advice from Spirit so that you can cope with this situation in the best way possible and move forward successfully. That's all I have for you today, Cancer, and I hope to see you back here with us soon on Angels of the Earth Tarot. Bye now.